Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews and this is my review for Star Wars Black Series Hasbro Darth Vader Helmet It's bloody huge Angry Andy Angry Andy Review So yeah, here we go. This is the Hasbro Black Series Darth Vader helmet. The box is absolutely massive and you can see the design on there, the, the colouring and all that. Um, it's This box is massive. This is the biggest box, I think, of all of them. Um, maybe Boba's was around about the same, I'm not sure. But this is huge um i have opened it up just to basically make sure everything's in there um and there's no surprises it's bloody huge i haven't got anything out of the wrapping yet um but it's insane um this item represents the last sort of purchase i'll be making for a good while um and i could not not pick this up given everything that i enjoy about um star wars and um collectibles like this as well so i'm just going to go straight ahead and get it out of the box um <laughs> is okay, well, pull back a bit so everybody can see it's there's a, there's a lot to look at really um to get the good old standard uh warnings and what have you here are the instructions which i'm going to need um i think so this is battery powered there are uh, sound effects, I don't know what they are, um, to be fair, and there is instructions of how to put all this together. Interestingly enough, aside from the, the top of the helmet, the rest of it is already put together. Um, it comes in three main parts. There's a bit of a box there. Um, and this does kind of just sit on the inside. Oh, that worked. Here we go, so this is the top of the helmet. There we go, right, ne uh, neatly wrapped. Um, just looking at this, I mean, you can see, you can see how big it is. It, it's massive, it's absolutely massive. This is, this is huge. I don't know what I expected. I, I knew, I knew the, the overall costume and everything was, was big. Um, <laughs> I did not think it would be this big. Um, I don't know why. Honestly, I couldn't tell you why, but, uh, one other thing we have. What is this? Oh, hang on a second. I don't know what this is. There's a bit of a thin plastic there. Oh, okay. I think, yeah. Oh, it's technically a stand. Alright. Yeah, so this thing. Um, this is apparently a stand. So if you look there on the instructions. I don't know if you can see that right here there is yeah sorry the reflections coming through a bit off the window there's, a, there's an image there um which the, the, the you rest the back of the helmet so the actual helmet bit on on that stand um so that you can sit it up um i won't be using that this is going to be going on the wall so i have to fashion together some kind of a i don't know crazy hat stand kind of thing and get it on the wall um so yeah that's i mean quite flimsy that it's gonna it's gonna break pretty easily if you try and fiddle with that or you do anything else with that um interesting to have if you want to put it on your table i guess but other than that it looks a bit pointless a bit redundant but anyway um let's move on quickly let's get the actual main body of the helmet out so here it is this is the actual mask itself. Um, there is nothing else in the box. The internal of the box is it, it filled this box. So this box is huge, and it filled the box. Um, there's barely any room for anything in there. But let's just get the mask out itself, shall we? Oh my! 
Look at that. Just look at that. I love the red lenses on the eyes. And I love the reflective nature of it. It's not all black. Interestingly enough, there is some graying to it. So here specifically, um, that's all grey. There are black flecks inside. So here, this bit here, where I've already smudged, unbelievably, um, is black, like a sheen finish. And this is very shiny. It's reflecting the light superbly. I love all these details here. So all these details with the helmet. Um, you can see there as well on the top. I love this detail. This detailing is amazing. It's brilliant and it's huge. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Now, so this does come in, it's meant to come in three different parts. You can open it up into three different parts, but now I've got this straight out of the box and that's how it comes in. That's how it sits in the box, sits in the box like that. So obviously this is the, the underneath portion of the mask, which sits on um, Anakin's face. Um, what I'll do, I'll just show you briefly, you can take these off here. So this goes round the back of your neck um, and clips in basically. But I'll show you the inside of the mask. And just look, you might, be able, you might not be able to see it fully. There, you can see there's a lot of detailing inside the mask there. A lot of detail, there you go, you've got a better, got a better, better picture there. Lots of red on the interior. There's wiring. It looks really good on the inside. There's more detail on the on the, on the inside of this one than there is, say, the, the Boba Fett helmet or even Mando's, which is quite lackluster. Kylo Ren's as well. There's no sort of detailing on the inside of Kylo Ren's. This there is a lot of detailing on the inside there. Um, very functional as well. The mouth grill there. You can see, you can see right through it. So you're not going to overheat putting this on uh, to a degree, I would thought. Um, obviously, if you're going to wear this for cosplay, you probably want to wear some kind of um, uh, what, a ski mask or something underneath just to hide your mouth, just in case somebody can see it. But overall, this is really impressive. I like it. I really like it. I don't know how base comes off. So... Like I said, this you can see where there is a split there. So there is supposed to be a way that this comes off. Should I read the instructions? Read the instructions, why not? Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what it says. Uh, so the battery pack. Oh, well, okay. So the batteries go there, which I'll sort out in just a second. Right there, you can see them there. Um, it takes two double A's. Two double A's, remember that. Um... So how does this come off? How does the base come off? Oh, it's magnetized. Okay. <laughs> so it's magnetized. The great thing about this is that it's apparently magnetized right away throughout. I knew that the top here was magnetized. You just put the, the top of the helmet on and it sticks to it, clamps on. Really strong magnets as well. This is not some half-assed sort of a, um, piece, if you like. And I'll just show you here on the under on the underside there of the helmet, you can see a strip of three magnets on either side, and that just clamps straight on. There's obviously a guiding port there. Um, you can see that little, little guiding nodule. Um, hang on, I'll just show you. Let's just have a look now. Oh, I've got that off. You can see there. Look look at the look at the detailing on that. The detailing on that is really really great. I love this little this little ditty here. Um, it's not stuck in place. That's quite. You can move that around. Uh, so like assist the breathing apparatus. There is interestingly enough a. If you can see there, it probably can't actually. There is a fan inside that grill. There you go. Just about. And I'm wondering whether that's the speaker or not. I'm wondering whether that's the speaker for the uh, the noise activation. But we'll find out in a second. So yeah. This just clamps back on, he says. Let's try it. Yeah, as simple as that. Simple as that. Straight back on. Clamps back on the magnet. And it's that's quite that's quite a weighty magnet as well. There you go. It takes a bit of pull to get it off. 
and then when you put it back on, it clamps straight back on, without with minimal effort. I like that minimal effort to get that back on. Um, so what we'll do then quickly, I will put this back on. No, I won't. I'm going to put the batteries in. I'm going to put the batteries in. I am doing this on the fly. I have not pre-planned any of this really. So I'm hoping my batteries work. If they don't work, I'm in trouble. So you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to get inside this. Uh, come on. No, not quite. Yeah, there we go. Comes straight off. No problems at all. Two double A's. No, ah, the triple A's. Oh, bugger. Double A's. It's okay. I'm fine. So, two triple A's. Not double A's. Almost got caught out there. Let's put that cover back on. Oh, hello. I do believe we just activated some sound effects. Although I don't know how. Don't know how that activated then. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a. Let's have a. <laughs> I was right. The speaker is right there. The speaker's right there. Excellent. That's all it seems to do. So that's the full nature of the sound effects. There's no lighting or anything in this like there is with the... Um, uh, the Rebel Helmet, the Luke Skywalker Rebel Helmet, and I believe the Wedge Antilles one as well. So that is the full nature of the sound effects um, with this. But I like it. <laughs> it's great. This is, a, this is a statement piece. It's absolutely a statement piece. This is something that goes on your shelf, on your wall, and everybody's going to talk about it, aren't they? Absolutely everyone's going to talk about it. Of course, it is fully wearable. Um, as a helmet, there is a bit of padding there at the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because um, the lighting is terrible coming in. I mean, it's a very nice day, but it's ruining uh, this. But there's, there's some sponge there, and these straps are fully adjustable. Um, let's just see. Let's get this bit on, and I'm going to put this on. I am. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on because I always put them on. Let's get ready. Let's put this out first. In fact, I didn't even show you this bit. So here we are, we have the... Oh, a bit of mark in there. Uh, oh, a little bit scratched. No, no. Just the way I'm looking at it. So there is the top of the helmet. Look at that shine on there. That reflective sheen. Brilliant. And again, you can see the magnets there on the inside. So those magnets clamp on the top and it stays in place. And it is quite a rigid fit. Um, there's no danger if, you, if you're shaking your head or you're moving about, there's no danger of it flying off if you are going to be wearing this as cosplay. Um, but let's go, let's, let's, let's put this on. <laughs> let's see what, what happens. Uh, here we go. Oh, my word. Oh, right. I'm, I don't know whether you'll be able to hear me properly or not. Um, but I'm going for it anyway. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of fun. I can't find the thing. Can't get that clamped on. Oh, there we go. That bit's clamped on. Oh, there we go, that bit's on as well, I think. Um, immediately, it's quite weighty. This is quite weighty. Um, I don't have a big head. Um... But this is quite a heavy piece. Uh, I'd have to adjust the straps, but I'm, I don't intend to wear this as cosplay anyway. Um, yeah, this is this is a weighty piece. If you're going to be wearing this all day, you'd probably have to do some adjustments, I reckon. 
in terms of making it comfortable. My nose is sat on the bridge here, and that is frustrating me already. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to wear this as cosplay anyway. It's not my bag. It's not what I'm going to do. Um, I'm acutely aware I'm, I'm talking to you now wearing this. Uh, <laughs> I can't really see much. All I can see is red. Um, the vision's completely boxed in. Um, but you do get a good sort of periphery with it, I think. Um, yeah, you'd have to make some comfort adjustments with this. Probably wouldn't recommend this for a full-time... Um... Oh, oh, well, there you go. Did you hear that? So that clamp there. That clamp there is those magnets. These magnets are great. All you have to do is just fiddle around till you get it in position. He says... Oh, come on. You literally just put it on straight away then. Oh! <laughs> there you go, it's slammed straight down. <laughs> oh, what? Have a look. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love it. If this is going to be my last collectible piece bought for a while, brilliant. Um, absolutely shocking with it. Where is that? Where is that? Um, that voice activation thing. Where is it gone? Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh fucking hell! Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, I'm well chuffed. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, this is weighty. This is a very weighty piece. Um, if you're claustrophobic, this is not going to be for you at all in terms of wearing it as cosplay, but um, yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the effect as well. Oh, I love it. Where's it gone? I can't find it. There it is. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Well worth it. Well worth it. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Oh, I don't look as ridiculous as I did with the uh, with the uh, the Luke Skywalker helmet, but this is. Uh, hang on, I'm wearing slacks, but I'll just move back a bit and see like oh the disparity. It's too big for my head. I look like a little like a little plush toy or something. <laughs> oh, oh my word. Um, yeah. There you go, uh, the Black Series Darth Vader helmet. Um, if you've managed to snack up one of these, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to are you going to wear it? Are you going to display it? Let me know. Um, I'm going to be displaying mine. Um, I've got a grand plan for it, my lord. Um, I can't do Vader's accent when I've got a sore throat, and I've got a sore throat. Um, but it's all too easy, all too easy. Um, yeah, I'm going to be displaying this, um, but credit to you if you're going to be wearing this in cosplay. I think it looks, just looking at it now, I think it does look like a good cosplay piece, I would have to say. Um, I think you can get away with this, very much so. There's the thing about Hasbro's cosplay items. Say what you want about their action figures, I've had a lot to say about their action figures of late, but their cosplay items, the, the roleplay items as they call them, are pretty solid. I don't think you can have a bad word to say about them apart from some of the features like there's no there's no there's, there's no voice with this so there's no James Earl Jones it's just the breathing which is fine it's kind of what you want really you don't want anything else do you um you don't want some corny cheesy ass dialogue or anything like that um but I think for the purpose of what it is I think it's really great um yeah I'm well impressed um <laughs> oh god I look absolutely ridiculous um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have to try and figure out how to take this. In fact, you know what? Let's figure out how to take it off. So, uh, oh, there we go. That's quite strong magnets. Strong, strong magnets. Ah, oh, there we go. So just as simple as that. Just as simple as that. Take the helmet off. Um, take that off. And then it unclips. So there's little clips there. Brilliant. I am well chuffed with that. Absolutely chuffed the bits. Um, oh god, have I broke it? No, I've not. It's fine. No, I've not. Putting it back together. 
There we go. There we have it. <laughs> it's fucking huge, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. Well, there you go. There is the oh, Black Series Darth Vader uh, roleplay helmet. Um, great item. I love the, the detailing on it. I love the colouring, uh, the off colour. Um, so it is more in keeping with uh, what we saw in the Kenobi series. Yeah, and more to the point, uh, Rogue One and um, A New Hope as well, with the with a particular sort of styling and colouring. But there you go. I'm going to leave the video there. It's been a, quite a long video, but well worth it. Well worth it to make myself look like a Muppet. Um, brilliant item. Um, I will see you um, hopefully very soon um, once I start back up with the collecting lark. Who knows? Might be sooner than you think. We'll see. We'll see. Once the world stops being a crazy place. But for the moment, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.